So the violence against us is nothing new. They've been killing us since time immemorial for centuries, and they're still trying to kill us. So that part of it is not new. Mm -hmm. But when it was revealed that many people in this club knew this guy from his having been at this club many times over a series of years, there was just a, a gigantic thud in my heart when I heard that. Because the other thing that the gay community knows is that the first loathing you have to get over as a gay or lesbian, bisexual, or transgender person is the self-loathing that we have been taught to feel. I mean, we have learned from our religion all the things that everyone else has learned, which is that uh, we are an abomination in God's eyes. And so we have had to go through the process of understanding that God loves us, God values us, and that, that God's love for us is beyond anything we can imagine. This man, if in fact he was in this club that often over that period of time, suggests that he himself was struggling with his own self-loathing. Mm -hmm. And what we in the LGBT community knows, or anyone who is, has a small amount of psychological knowledge, knows that what you do when there is something about yourself that you cannot embrace, that you want to run from, the typical thing you do is you project it onto someone else, and then you kill it mm. as a way of trying to kill it in yourself. And frankly, if that turns out to be true, I mean, I, I think his 911 call claiming allegiance to ISIS was literally trying to throw us off the trail from understanding that he himself was struggling with his own sexual identity. And he wanted to be remembered as a martyr and as a hero, not as a gay man who was so self-loathing that he killed and wounded a hundred people who turn out to be in his own community. How blood-curdling is that? Mm.